everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for Live in the D in the Green Room. I'm still here with Meredith Breckner. We had such a good time on the show today. And it's Wednesday, so we had some all about Ann Arbor stuff. What's going we on? We did. I love it when we have A4 stuff on here. So uh, we featured the Ann Arbor Art Center, uh, Jen Cornell from there. She came and showed us all these cool things that you can make for all ages. They have these fantastic workshops. It's just super accessible. It makes a great gift or you know experience for yourself. Like why yeah, why not? So why not? I, I just played with some watercolor painting there. It was great. It was awesome. So once things quiet down after the holidays, many people turn their attention to trying something new in the new year. And one popular experience is dappling in the arts, such as drawing, painting, or ceramics. Not sure where to begin? The Ann Arbor Arts Center has all kinds of workshops and classes for all ages and skill sets. And we're joined by Jen Cornell, Queen. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for being Thank here. For I love having my Ann Arbor people here. <laughs> Anything happening there is just awesome. So how would you describe the Ann Arbor Art Center, first of all? Yeah, so the Ann Arbor Art Center is one of the oldest nonprofits in Ann Arbor, um, founded in 1909. And our primary mission is to educate people around art and to inspire people to express their creative side. And I think one thing that's really important to know, um, we're an education-based organization. It's yes. really what we focus on. Um, and we want to teach people to embrace their inner creative. So if you feel like you're not sure where to begin, please come see us and we're more than happy to help you. All of the things that you see here are things that you can learn to create at the Art Center. So I'm really excited to show some of it off today. I love it. So yeah. what kind of things do people create then? So you can see everything from um, you know, black and white drawing, mm -hmm. um, screen printing, ceramics. These are actually things that kids can make, um, nice. watercolors. These are things actually that are offered as part of evening workshops. So I know that you and Tati are looking for a date night in Ann Arbor. Yes, we are. So please come. We actually do have a special class for date night. It's a once, one off thing um, where you can come and make these mugs, these cups, which is great. Um, and then what, another thing that we offer is um, one, a gallery that you can just come and enjoy art. It's free. Come in anytime. Yeah. Um, and we have a gallery shop. And I heard you talking about last minute Christmas gifts. Right. <laughs> and so exactly. Our gallery shop is open. Our art box kit are really popular. You can make fairy doors, little um, little pocket pets, and watercolor I note cards. I, yes. I kind of avoid your gallery shop for, for good reasons because I like it too much. <laughs> <laughs> I can get lost in there and then, you know, just, just go crazy. It's so awesome. Yes. That shop is amazing. So, and I want to just like try my hand at painting here. I know you have like watercolors you brought with you. We're just going to kind did. of like mix I things up. I used to paint in, in high school and college. No pressure then. No I, pressure. I know. So the really cool thing about the art box kits is it comes with instructions it comes with everything that you would need to do it and it's it's all ages accessible so I bought those last year for my kids who are at the time were um, seven and nine oh, and nice. made pocket pets so art shouldn't be something that people are afraid to try That's and right. it's actually something fun to to do different and it's all ages I mean talk about the all ages really aspect yeah family of, friendly of the class is super family friendly like yep. you said these kids can make these incredible things yes yeah and we, we do know. we as part of our um, just sort of one-off workshops we also do family friendly evenings too so bring your kids in and create some art with them I love it these classes yeah. are so popular I yes. mean really like super super popular I'm sure they book up really quickly yes um, so how and when should people sign up so our winter term is actually starting on January 9th there's still availability there's availability for, availability for our evening workshops for family and date nights go to annarborartcenter.org and sign up I love it so much. Thank yeah. you for being of here. Course, thanks and for happy having me. holidays to you. You too. And to keep up with all that's happening in the Ann Arbor area, visit allaboutannarbor.com, which is made possible by these sponsors. And also, we got, you know, learned more about a really cool program here in Metro Detroit yes. where kids can learn about aviation, learn how to fly drones, get in planes and learn what that's all about. It was fascinating. It was so cool. And at no cost, too. At no cost. It's Just to, to local kids who are interested in aviation. I loved those shots of them in the airplane. That was incredible. Wasn't that adorable? So fun. What an experience. I wish yeah. I wish I could do something like that. I was thinking the same thing. That wasn't that kind of thing when I was a kid, but <laughs> yeah. these kids are really fortunate. Is there a young person in your life hoping to have a career in aviation? Yeah, well, a special program in Detroit is helping to make those dreams come true and teaching kids to fly for free. That's right. Our April Morton takes us inside Detroit City Airport, where the program is getting a lot of buzz. On Thursday nights, the Komine Young Airport is buzzing with excitement. Yep, that's a drone this young man is flying. We'll get back to this greatness in a moment. First, if you thought Detroit City Airport was just a bunch of empty hangars, well, not so much. 
To me, this is the most wonderful space in the United States. We are a very unique museum in that we curate historical artifacts of the Tuskegee Airmen. The Tuskegee Airmen National Museum is home to 14 flying aircraft and one of three museums in Detroit with Tuskegee Airmen artifacts. We have a P-39 Air Cobra, which we brought up from Lake Huron. A Tuskegee Airman crashed in 1943 in that aircraft. Not only does the museum tell the stories of these national heroes, the facility doubles as a school and teaches youth in the community how to fly these historic aircraft. I want to be a commercial um, pilot, so I'm trying to study for my private pilot's license. 15-year-old Lauren is just about halfway through a six-month ground school here at the museum. The program is designed for youth 14 to 19 who wants to become pilots. A lot more instruments in the plane than just like the steering wheel, keeping it up in the air. There's way more instruments that you have to learn, you have to study. And the students who study hard and excel in the class are offered free flight training putting them on a path to jet off into a successful future. These are more than middle class jobs that our underrepresented youth in the city of Detroit can take advantage of. The Flight Academy class is one of several happening here on Thursday nights. There is an aircraft maintenance class, Rocket Club, where students create their own rockets and actually launch them. There's also drone classes for youth starting at age 10. We can get a student ready to be a professional drone pilot making money, and we're talking significant money. He says the student just needs to be 16 in order to have the certification to operate a professional drone, something that's big business now. Many jobs in drone flying that our students can take advantage of. So flying a plane, drone, or shooting off rockets while learning some important aviation history is your thing. For Detroiters and those in the area, look no further than your local neighborhood airport. And the ongoing youth programs are free and made possible by grants, corporate sponsorships, and donations. For more information, visit the Tuskegee Airmen National Museum's website. All right, so we learned about kids learning some incredible aviation skills, but we also learned what to do with the kids during this super long winter break. And you really enjoyed Carrie Doman's suggestions, didn't you? Yes, yeah. she's a mom of three who's you know just an expert at all things kids in the area and beyond. And I'm a mom of three who wants these ideas to entertain <laughs> my children over the holidays. Uh, so she just had some fantastic things that you can do right here in the D, a little staycation and campus marches. Um, what else did she suggest? Go to Grand Rapids. Yes, fantastic yeah. zoos and museums and winter exhibits and great stuff and yeah. short road trip ideas too because it's really good to get out of the house when you have kids at home for so long. Yeah, you beat the cabin fever. You yeah. get to wear the kids out a little bit, yeah. bring them home nice and tired. That's so right. she's always got just great suggestions. Yes. Well, after the holidays are over next week, things can seem a bit dull for the kids who are off from school for the end of year break. So why not pile into your car and hit the road for a short adventure? That sounds like fun to me. Carrie Doman, mom of three and founder of Little Guide Detroit, is here to talk about the fun places to visit just a short road trip away. Carrie, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for having me. Love having you. So let's start with a road trip that's just about, you know, an hour and 20 minutes from downtown Detroit. I'm talking about Lansing. Let's go. Uh, thanks to our friends at Lansing.org. Uh, they are supplying us with lots of great ideas. Impressions 5 Science Museum is our team at Little Guide Detroit. That's our favorite place to go. One of the best science museums. Ugh. I would arguably in the Midwest. Wow. Um, so definitely check it out. You'll find, you know, the big bubble wand, the big light bright water. I mean, the kids in the water tables, every parent knows what this <laughs> looks like and loves it. So Impression 5 Science Center, absolute worth the, the road trip. Uh, and then we have their Michigan Museum. Uh, they have a great, they say hands on and minds on I think programs I like, I like that little saying so they have a lot to offer as well and uh, and and just 
great, great options. If you want to wear them out a little bit, we also have, uh, they have Launch Trampoline Park there. Oh. Um, and so you can't go wrong with wearing your kids out. Yeah. <laughs> Getting a that little, energy out. A little bit. experiential learning and a little yeah. wearing out of the energy. Sounds Can, like a good a day. nice combo. Indeed. Good day trip indeed. Indeed. What about something about an hour further out, like a town like, say, Grand Rapids? Yes. So two hours door to door. My family did this in the summer. We love Grand Rapids. Um, they have it's, it's a winter wonderland there. They do a phenomenal job of getting people downtown. Um, I, obviously, you can see they have ice skating. They have horse drawn oh. carriage rides and their big their big experiential um, destination this winter will be their winter wonder festival and or I'm sorry wonder of winter festival <laughs> um, that is coming to uh, Grand Rapids this winter it will start January 6 it kicks off so a definite reason to either go during the holidays next week or in the winter um, and Frederick Meyer Gardens, man, you can't you can't beat it. Have you ever yeah. been? I haven't. I haven't. I need to. I've been to Grand Rapids, but I haven't been. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, That's uh, on it was, the list. I was blown away when I went. On the list. All right. Well, staycations can also be a lot of fun. How about a staycation right here in the D, which I love. I'm all about this. We did it last night, my yes. husband and I, but obviously if you want to do kids, um, there is no better place than downtown Detroit during the holidays. I I'll tell you what, the tree is magnificent magnificent you have ice skating uh, on campus marshes and then this right here how cool is this this is winter bumper cars uh in the monroe midway uh it is such a cool activation that they have right next to campus marshes so you can do it all in one fell swoop all aka one parking spot yes <laughs> um cadillac square is still activated right now cadillac lodge we love getting a hot cocoa there so absolutely worth a, a trip downtown yeah it's our own very own winter wonderland is, in downtown detroit for sure. And for most folks who might want to venture across the state line, but not go too far, where should they check out, you know, something close like Toledo? Toledo Zoo is our absolute favorite. Um, they have an incredible display right now, um, activation, and uh, it's their lights before Christmas, although it does go after Christmas as well. It goes all the way to the December 31st, and uh, it, they have over a million lights. They have ice slides and Santa visits, the Holly Jolly Express, which my kids would love. Uh, that is a train ride through. Africa, their wow. Africa, um, safari, if you will. And uh, yes, just a great destination. They also have a New Year's Eve event uh, for kids on New Year's Eve. They are open New Year's Eve okay. if you're looking for something fun and festive to do on New Year's Eve and for the kids to ring in the New Year's at noon. Yes, I noticed that it was noon year's yes. eve. I can't stay up till yeah. midnight either, so <laughs> it's perfect for me as well. For everyone, all right. so. We all want to pack in the car. We want to go on this road trip. But what are some necessities for short tr road trips like this? Keep the kids busy. Keep the parents sane. I, it's all about what you pack. Snacks. Yes. We, I mean, that doesn't matter if you're going to the park down the street or <laughs> on a two-hour two road trip. Snacks. Um, but also in, in your car activities, things that they can do. Again, all of these options, I love that they're an hour to two hour. Mm -hmm. I can do that. I can do that with three young kids. Yeah. So good luck to all those, um, <laughs> not only getting through the holiday season, but uh, packing up the car. Uh, it's all of these are well worth the trip. Yeah, I love your sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep it real. It's, it's a very busy time. Right? right. So where can people learn more fun things to do with the kids? All of this and more, anything that you're looking for with kids, if you have kids in your life, please visit littleguidedetroit.com. We have everything from a daily event calendar to um, road trip ideas like this. All right, Carrie Doman, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for so having me. Fun. And of course, last but not least, we got a great little personal concert today in studio from Sponge, none other than. Amazing. They were so cool, they were so, just really nice and wonderful. Yeah, you were saying just how lovely they were. Absolutely. And just a great performance as well. Absolutely, great performance, and they've got a concert coming up for a really, really good cause. So learn more and uh, enjoy a really amazing performance.
They are a Detroit rock group known for hits like Molly, Plowed, and Have You Seen Mary. And next week, Sponge is coming back together for a special concert with an important mission that will help those in need right here in Detroit. And joining me now is lead singer Vinny Dombrowski. Good to see you again. Good morning, Tati. This is so exciting. Okay, and we're glad to have you back on the show. But let's talk about this concert because it benefits and raises money for the Pope Francis Center. Right. And you and I had a chance to talk about this, you know, a couple of weeks back yeah, and yeah. all the good work that it does. So how does this center support the city? Uh, not only are they providing meals to homeless folks, showers, legal help, dental, permanent housing. That's kind of like the, the, the big goal here, you know, and their mission is to wipe out homelessness in the city of Detroit. So with permanent housing, that's a, it's a lofty goal, but that's the mission. Hey. You Aim for the stars, aim for the moon, and land among the stars, is what they go. say, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So where did the idea for the concert come about? Well, we've been doing uh, live performances uh, for the Pope Francis Center uh, dating back to about 2018. We would do our yearly show down at St. Andrews Hall, mm -hmm. and because the Pope Francis Center is located a stone throw from St. Andrews Hall, it was just a, a no-brainer to go, what do we want to do to give back to the community? So we've done live performances, we've done album recordings, and so this one's going to be a combination of both live performance and album recording as that well. That is so cool. So people mm -hmm. are going to get to say, I was in the audience in the when they recorded yep. this, mm -hmm. which is cool. So yep. you're not going to be performing alone. Who else will be joining you next Tuesday? Uh, Brian Vander Ark from the Bird Pipe, Louis Resto, and uh, Mike Skill. People know Mike from the Romantics. He's got a great band put together with um, Ricky Ratt and uh, Brian McCarty from the Trash Brass, along with Jason Hartless, who plays drums with Ted Nugent. So there's going to be a lot of, you know, great, talented musicians in the room. And everybody that comes down, they get to kind of have like a five-hour meet and greet, in essence, with the bands and enjoy craft cocktails at Cachet in St. Clair Shores. I love it. I love it. So how can people get tickets, information, and remind everyone the date and the location? So the time. date being December 27th at Cachet in uh, St. Clair Shores, right in downtown St. Clair Shores. And all folks have to do to get tickets is go to the uh, Sponge Facebook, which is, uh, you go to Facebook, look for Sponge Rocks, and we have a wonderful ad put up there with a ticket link and everything. Yeah, so. this is going to be a great show. Now, they are Sponge, and they are going to give us a little preview of the concert that's happening next week. They're going to take us to break with their hit song off the album Wax Ecstatic, and here is Sponge with Have You Seen Mary? Great. Thank you, Tati. Thank you, Meredith. So much Thanks fun. Thanks so much. It's always a pleasure being here, and happy holidays, everyone.